StarCraft, made for the moments. In this video, we will show you how to assemble your orchard canopy crib, as well as how to convert it into a playhouse. The crib is available in white, while the tent is available in three different finishes, white, driftwood, and pebble gray. Before you begin the assembly, please make sure to read the assembly manual thoroughly, as it contains important safety warnings and assembly tips. Please note that there are some steps in the assembly where you might require two people to help with the assembly process. If you have any questions about assembling your product, you might contact our customer care team by visiting us online or giving us a call at 1-877-274-0277. Any mattress used in this crib shall be at least 27 and 1 quarter inches by 51 and 5 eighths inches with a thickness not exceeding 6 inches and the minimum mattress thickness of 4 inches. Start the assembly by checking the parts list. The following parts are enclosed and required for installation. Make sure to identify all parts, hardware and tools. Step 1. Installing the right and left crib side. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin step 1 by placing the left front post, part number 7, and the left back post, part number 5, on each side of part 1. Push both posts towards part 1, butt up and match all hardware holes as shown. Next, secure both posts using four part J barrel nuts and four part A bolts. Starting with the top corner hole, Insert one Part J barrel nut into the bottom top bar of Part 1 and push one Part A bolt through the post and into the barrel nut. Tighten the bolt using the provided Part H Allen key. Proceed by repeating these steps on the bottom holes and securing the bottom hardware. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Insert one Part J barrel nut into the bottom top bar of Part 1 and push one Part A bolt through the post and into the barrel nut. Take care not to over tighten the hardware. Proceed by tightening the bottom bolt. Finally, Repeat these same steps on the opposite side, using the right crib side, part number 2, the right front post, part number 8, and the right back post, part number 6. After both the left and right crib side are assembled, rotate the left crib side assembly so that the bottom barrel nut holes located on the bottom bar are facing the right crib side assembly. This makes it so that when both the left and right crib side assemblies are attached to the crib, the bottom holes will be facing each other in the interior side of the crib. Step 1 is now complete. Step 2. Installing the back rail. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin Step 2 by placing the back rail, part number 3, between the previously assembled right and left crib side. You might require two people to help with the assembly process in this step. It is highly recommended that someone assists you with this step. Next, place the bottom left side, part number 11, and the bottom right side, part number 13, at each end, matching the holes of each back post. Push the parts towards the assembly and attach, using four part A bolts and four part J barrel nuts. Starting with the top corner, insert the barrel nut through the bottom of the back rail and the bolt through the back post into the barrel nut. Tighten the bolt using the provided Part H Allen key. Continue by tightening the bottom bolt. Finally, repeat these same steps on the opposite side. Take care not to over tighten the hardware.
Step 2 is now complete. Step 3. Installing the stretcher bar. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin Step 3 by placing the stretcher bar, part number 9, near the bottom front side of the crib assembly. Place one wooden dowel at each end of the stretcher bar. Insert the wooden dowels into the top holes at each end. Next, insert the wooden dowel through the front post, as shown. Add a barrel nut, part J, into the bottom hole of the stretcher bar and secure the barrel nut using one part A bolt. Insert the bolt through the bottom left sidebar and into the barrel nut. Tighten the bolt using the provided part H Allen key. Finally, repeat these same steps on the opposite side. Take care not to over-tighten the hardware. Step 3 is now complete. Step 4. Installing the mattress support. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin Step 4 by placing the metal pin, Part K, into the center hole located in the stretcher bar of Part 9. Simply slide the pin into the hole. There are three height location options for the mattress support. You can install your mattress on the bottom holes for the lowest position. You can install your mattress support to the middle holes for the middle position. And you can install the mattress support to the top holes for the highest position. We recommend setting the spring in the highest position for newborn babies. After deciding which height to install your mattress support, proceed by securing the four end brackets of part number 10 by using four Part F bolts. Matching the holes on the bracket to the interior holes of the front post, insert the bolt through the bracket and the post. Tighten the bolt using the provided Part H Allen key. Slightly tighten the bolt at this time. You need to loosely attach all four bolts before fully tightening. This makes it easier for the other locations to fit correctly. Repeat these steps for each bracket of the mattress support and slightly tighten each bolt. After each bolt has been loosely attached, go back and using the Allen key, fully tighten each bolt. Take care not to over-tighten the bolts. After all hardware is secured, cover the remaining holes by inserting eight more Part F bolts. Finally, on the bottom of each side, insert four Part F bolts as shown. Tighten the bolts using the provided Part H Allen key. Repeat these steps for the remaining three bolts.
Take care not to over tighten the bolts. Step 4 is now complete. Step 5. Installing the front rail. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin by sliding the front rail, part number 4, on top of the stretcher bar, part 9. Slide the front rail on top of the previously installed metal pin, located in the center of the stretcher bar. Next, insert four barrel nuts, part J, into the corner holes of part 4, and secure the front rail into place by using four part A bolts. Insert the bolts through parts 11 and 13 and into the barrel nuts. Tighten the bolts using the provided Part H Allen key. Repeat these steps for the bottom and opposite side bolts. Step 5 is now complete. Step 6. Tent Assembly For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin by locating the middle rail, part number 15. At one end of the rail, insert a wedge block, part number 17. Simply slide it into the rail. Next, insert the top left side part number 12 into the wedge block. Once part 12 is in place, secure it using one part B bolt. Tighten the bolts using the provided part H Allen key. Proceed by repeating these steps on the opposite side. Use the wedge block and the top right side part number 14. Next, install three part M bolts on top of the middle rail as shown. Finally, after the top assembly is complete, place it on top of the crimp and match the holes located on the top bars on both the bottom left and right side. Secure the top right and left side using six part E bolts. Push three bolts through both part 11 and part 12. Tighten the bolts using the provided part H Allen key. Take care not to over tighten the bolts. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Congratulations! Assembly of the Orchard Canopy Crib is now complete. Before using the crib, please make a final inspection. Please inspect the crib to ensure that all fasteners are tight and components are properly assembled. 
Do not use until the crib has been fully assembled and inspected for correct performance in accordance with the assembly manual. If you wish to convert your crib into a playhouse, you may continue watching this video. Otherwise, assembly is now complete. Converting your crib to a playhouse. Step 1. Disassembly of the crib. Converting the crib into a playhouse is easy. Simply start by using an Allen wrench and removing all end bolts that were previously installed. Start from the top and turning counterclockwise, remove bolt part number B. Proceed by removing five part A bolts located on the side. Next, remove the same bolts on the opposite side. Carefully disassemble the top metal rail and side components as shown. Finally, remove four barrel nuts, part J, from each of the front and back rails, part number 13 and part number 14. After the hardware has been removed, pull off the front and back rails and safely place them on the side. Step 1 is now complete. Step 2. Playhouse Tent Assembly Begin Step 2 by placing the front rail, part number 4, between the assembled left and right tent sides. You might require two people to help with the assembly process in this step. It is highly recommended that someone assists you with this step. Push the left and right tent sides up against the rail, matching the corner holes. Next, attach the front rail using four part J barrel nuts and four part C bolts. First, insert a barrel nut, part J, into the hole located in the bottom of the rail and a part C bolt through the side post and into the barrel nut. Tighten the bolts using the provided part H Allen key. Repeat these steps for the remaining bolts on both sides of the playhouse tent. Next, place the middle rail, part number 15, on top, centered between the assembly. Insert a wooded dowel, part G, on the bottom holes of each end of the rail. Take the assembly and insert it into the holes for both the top right side, part 14, and the top left side, part 12. Secure the middle rail by using one part D bolt. Push the bolt through on the top hole and secure the bolt using an Allen key. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Finally, Add the conversion rail, part number 16, at the bottom of the assembly, with the long face of the rail parallel to the ground. Insert one wooded dowel on the end of each interior hole of the rail. Slide the rail with wooden dowel into the corner holes. Grab a barrel nut and insert it into a hole located on the bottom of the conversion rail. Add a part C bolt into the barrel nut from the outside and secure the bolt using an Allen key. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Congratulations! Assembly of the Playhouse is now complete. Converting your crib to a full-size bed. This is an optional step and is only available if you purchase the full-size metal bed frame. To convert your crib to a full-size bed, you will require the following parts. Begin by taking apart and assembling the following components for the headboard assembly and the following components for the footboard assembly. After both assemblies are complete, simply take the full-size bed frame and attach it to each corner. 
First, match the corner holes and using two part F bolts per corner, secure the metal frame to the headboard and footboard assemblies. Congratulations! Converting your crib to a full-size bed is now complete. Enjoy your new Orchard Canopy Crib. Brought to you by Storkcraft. Made for the moments.